when you got the news and uh, when you got the news, were you kind of already confident that, hey, I, I think I've done enough to win this job? Um, I mean, I, I was definitely confident in the body of work that I, that I put together over camp. Um, but you know, you never know. Uh, we have we have a lot of great competitors in the quarterback room, and and those guys uh, pushed very hard this camp and, and made great plays and made great throws and and uh, were great leaders. And uh, we you know we competed as a group really well. And um, like I said, you never know. Um, but at the end of the day, I was I was confident in, in what I was able to do, um, but wasn't satisfied obviously and, and, and ready to continue to work for sure. Just to follow up on that, are you one of those guys who? Like when you're back into a corner, you really perform because it's like you got to this late camp and you're just like, hey man, it's, it's go time, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's kind of in my mentality. I think over the experiences that I've had over my college career, um, there, there's been a lot of adversity. There's been a lot of uh, competition, but that's the business that we're in. That, that's that's a quarterback position. So um, I think definitely as a quarterback, um, it's always good to have the mentality of, you know, when, when the cards are, are kind of stacked against you or, or chips are stacked against you. Um, you perform, you know, you elevate your, your, your performance uh, for sure. So, yeah. Miles, how did the coaching staff give you the news and what was the feeling like? Yeah, I, mean, I sat down with uh, my coach and, and, and Coach Warheim, and um, they kind of just explained to me, you know, um, the reason why I was getting the opportunity and um, just the things that I had to do, obviously, to continue uh, being the, the quarterback for this team and, and um, you know, obviously, uh, Get us on the right foot this season. Start off the season uh, on the right note, and um, wanting to achieve uh, over my college career, and uh, for it to happen, uh, it was, was definitely a blessing, and I felt great for sure. Also, you've been in these situations before, where you name the starter, and, and then you, you move on to the, to the first game. What is these next 13, 12 days, however many days it is now, going to be like, uh, just from a you know, mindset, mindset standpoint, and um, just the way you carry your business? With yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, it's good, it's going to be you know taking advantage of every single day, and uh, I just got done watching some film with O linemen going over you know some looks and, and looking at personnel of uh, of our week one opponent. So I mean, each and every day is going to be an opportunity for us to, to work together and, and form uh, more chemistry, obviously with the offensive line, uh, the receivers. So I'm looking to take advantage of every single day. I'm not going to let any day go to waste leading up to week one, and, and that's my mindset and. Uh, I'm happy to be named the starter, but um, you know the, the work, the work and the expectations are um, are out in front of me, and I'm ready to take advantage for sure. Yeah, I mean, I feel great. I feel real confident. I mean, um, the the trainers and, and, and team doctors have done a great job with me, and and like I said, over over the course of camp, there was never you know shying away from reps, shying away from. Um, opportunity to, to go out there and, and compete with my teammates. Um, and so, you know, that being said, I mean, I, I'm 100% confident in my leg and um, I'm, I'm going to be ready to go and, and ready to perform week one for sure. Is there a situation where you want to get hit? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I, like I said, I mean, this is this is the sport I've been playing my whole life. It's a it's a physical game, and, and, and it's what I love to do. So the physical aspect is definitely something that I look forward to to get back into and, and, and get hit a little bit and and and. Uh, and show my teammates, you know, obviously uh, some toughness out there for sure. You got a chance to talk to family, your dad, tell you something about what happened? Uh, not yet. Um, you know, I kind of just kind of kept it kind of kept it quiet. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm happy for the opportunity, but uh, I know there's a lot of work ahead of me. I know there's um, it's an opportunity, and I want to take full advantage of it. And you know, I'm happy, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm focused and I'm determined to to um, you know make the people that believed in me uh, right for sure. You think back and think about the process of being at one school and deciding where, where the next school is going to be, and now it's led to this. Do you think about how you made those decisions at a time when you weren't totally healthy and hoping for the best, and now here you stand as a starting quarterback? Yeah, I mean it's uh, thinking back from uh, the recruiting process and the transfer portal. It's been a it's been a long road, and um, there was a lot going through my head. Obviously, um, there was no guarantees. Um, but at the end of the day, I was just uh, honored and thankful that uh, a school and, and a coaching staff believed in me and believed in allowing me to get the opportunity to come here and, 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 and rehab and, and train with these guys in the off season. And um, like I said, there was ups and downs all, all along the way for sure. And um, like I said, I have great teammates and great coaches that supported me and pushed me and, and um, gave me the encouragement that I needed in order to continue to work and, and train to, to, like I said, get an opportunity to compete for the job. So. Um, 
I mean, I, I'm definitely thankful. And as soon as I got news and got word of, you know, I had an opportunity to come here and, and play for this university, it was an opportunity that I wanted. And um, like I said, I'm just thankful for sure. Miles, what's it like running through a tunnel to start the season as a quarterback? And what do you think it's going to be like right over there in that stadium? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's one of the best feelings ever. You know, I mean, you understand that all eyes are on you. You know, everybody's, you know, watching to see the quarterback run through that tunnel. and and, uh, you know, his demeanor and his confidence, you know, running onto that field. So it's going to be a blessing. It, 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 it brings me goosebumps just thinking about it right now. And, and to run out there with my teammates and my coaches uh, week one is going to be a surreal feeling. And I'm looking forward to uh, getting to experience the atmosphere of, you know, University of New Mexico football. And um, it's going to feel like home and it's going to feel um, like I, I'm in the right place for sure. And I'm excited. It seems like ideally the plan is for you to stay for full season. That happens, and what do you think about the future of the quarterback situation? I mean, the the quarterback situation for UNM in the future is is, is in great hands. I mean, you have a, a young leader and a young competitor like C.J. Montez, who competed his butt off every single day, uh, pushed the quarterback room. I mean, he's a leader on and off the field. Um, you know, and and he's one of the guys that will be one of the the future quarterbacks of this school. Uh, Justin Holiday, another great competitor, another great leader. Um, he just got here, but he, he's fitting in real well, and he has a great arm, and he's, he's very smart. Um, he's very tough. He's a hard worker, and um, he goes about his business the same way each and every day. Um, and then you guys have you have guys like Connor Janal and, and Isaiah Chavez, who are guys that have been here. They've been through the ups and downs of University of New Mexico football, and you know they, they love this team. They love this university. They love this um, um, this program, so I mean, I think I think the the, the quarterback room and it, uh, the University of New Mexico is in great hands with these guys, and I mean, you know, they're really committed to to making it happen and making the change here. So um, I think for me to be in that quarterback room with them and just listen to their experiences and listen to you know what they've been through and and the things that they've gone through while being here, it, it just motivates me to be my best and and to work that much harder and. It also gives me confidence that, you know, if those guys, any of those guys get opportunity, I know they're going to seize it for sure. Well, you talk about opportunity where you just like, I made the most of my opportunity because you, you like you said, on your own mission, that it was, it was a long road. And yep. you were. Yeah, I mean, I think, um, I mean, I, I don't feel like I, you know, accomplished what I wanted to yet. I think there's, you know, uh, what I want to accomplish is, is still out in front and it's still, um, it's still something I have to work towards. You know, and I still have to prepare every single day. I still have to show my teammates that I'm committed, and I and I and I was the the right choice to start the season. And uh, each and every day is is an opportunity to earn the right and earn the job each and every day. And and obviously on Saturday, you've got to perform and, and show your teammates and show everybody that you're the right guy. So, um, like I said, you know, uh, it, it feels good, but like I said, you know, the the real work is out in front of me, and and. Um, you know, the, the best is, is, is ahead for sure. Uh, the mobile defense miles, what's it like going up against the defense like that? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a challenge each and every day. Um, you got guys like, you know, Jarek Reed, you guys, Tavian Combs, and, and, you know, Rico. I mean, there's just so many guys on that defense. Those guys fly around, man. They play fast, they play physical. Um, the thing that has, has impressed me the most is, you know, I've seen a lot of defenses over the course of my career, watching them, playing against them. And they're one of the top defenses that I've seen. Um, and I get to see them on a daily basis. And what they do schematically is, is definitely challenging for not only our offense, but any offense that they, that they face. So um, going against them has, has made me better. It has challenged me, has, has uh, made me you know, study more, come to practice with a, a, a mindset of, you know, I got to attack. I got to try to attack these guys and, and try to challenge them. Because not only are they getting us better, but I want to get them better as well. So. Um, it's a challenge every day, you know, but like I said, it's getting our team better and I love that about them.